Hi everyone, my name is Shimerze Henry Ahone and I am the founder of Rico TV and the president of Online Church. I am so excited to bring you good news because I know God is walking his way out and he's making us and setting us straight by everything that is going around us. Remember the word of God says all things work together for those who love the Lord and we love the Lord so much therefore we know that everything is going to be good and it's going to be set out to the right place. Now I just want to read on something. Hi everyone, my name is Shimerson Henry Ahonaya. Okay, that's so fake. Curve, rolling, and action. Hi everyone, my name is Shimerson Henry Ahonaya, and I'm excited to bring you good news. I am the president and the founder of Rico TV and also the pastor of Online Church. So today, I just want to read something to you guys from Psalm 92. Rather, Psalm 91. Let's go to Psalm 91. Tells us he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall indeed abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It's telling us that we should make the Lord our secret place. We should abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And as we do this, nothing will come any harm to us. Verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. God becomes our refuge. God becomes our fostering. In Him will I trust. We'll continue to trust in Him day and night. No matter what the situation is, you need to learn to trust in God. And so this video is not about just the Word of God, but I also want to encourage us on the steps we need to take to make sure that we are helping the government and we are helping those around us stop the spread of the coronavirus. And with me, I have a problem. I don't even know that my problem. With me, I have a problem, which is this, a face mask. Yes, a face mask. Sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm all in the light, so I'm the one shining. <laughs> Hallelujah. So this is a face mask, and this is one of the things you could use to, if you're affected, if you have any flu, and if you want to protect yourself from the coronavirus, you need a face mask. A face mask is not really intended to protect anyone, but it's one of those surgical masks so as to stop what you have from getting to those who don't have protection. So for example, if I had a cut, I'll put a face mask on to stop the you know, fluid from leaving my system. I want us to be very real and I want us to be very educative. As children of God, we have to be wise, we have to use wisdom. The Bible says in uh, 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 in getting getting wisdom and understanding. So hopefully you get wisdom and in understanding. And the Bible says, He over who lacks wisdom, you should ask of the Father who gives it abundantly. So before I forget that this is actually my audio and I forget. And um, basically, let's get back to what this video is. I know I was trying to make this video like very, very professional, like an ad, but yeah, I just want to be realistic. I don't want it to just look like an ad. I want us to face the facts. And this light is really, really burning me out. So let's do this. So uh, how do we properly wear this mask? So it has a back. This is the back and it has a front. If you look at the max I have, it has a nose gap. So this is how I know this is the front of my max. It also has a tread. It's taking my camera forever. So it has a tread. As you can see, those treads, those treads are what I used to know that yes, this is the front. So I put it this way. So it goes and then the band goes at my back and this goes up here and this goes underneath. This is how this particular mouse uh, gets in. So it goes like this. So my ear is able to hold it but you know I'm using the glasses. And I look like a pigeon or a penguin. I don't know. Yeah, this is how to properly wear the mask. So now, as you can see, this is the first thing. If I'm going out, I have to make sure that I have my mask on. That I have my mask on and I'm going out with my mask. This is one of the masks the doctors use, the surgical masks. And 
I'm wearing it and I'm protected. The second thing I have to do is rush to the washroom and get the sanitizer or wash my hands. Here is my sanitizer. This was one of the sanitizer I had back in Nigeria when the Ebola virus started to spread and it really helped at there. And I took some of the sanitizers and I brought them to Canada. It's just very, very simple. It's very, very unique. It looks like a pen. I can take it anywhere. All I need to do is just put a little drop on my hand like that. And I touch the surface. And it also has a scent. It has an orange scent. As you can see, you can find one of these in Nigeria. I don't know if you can get it here in Canada. So basically, it's called CAC 1000 and on it it says have a very good day, what else, 17 orange plus 1 glass of milk and this sanitizer scents so good, this is one I use, I could carry it around, I could put it in my pocket, so if you don't have access to the washroom, get one of the sanitizers and wash your hands. And the third thing you need to do is stop touching your nose and your mouth. Just like the health professionals are saying, stop touching your nose and your mouth. You need to make sure you ain't touching your nose, you ain't touching your mouth. You need to make sure you are retaining a good personal hygiene. And if you are taking other steps, which is the fourth important one, distancing yourself from those who are sick and from everyone else, social distancing. When you distance yourself from everyone else and when you, you're doing the social distancing, you need to take every right precaution, every right step to make sure that you are doing as you ought to. Not just for yourself, not just for your family, but also for the entire world. Because the entire world depends on you and I to stop the spread. Thank you and God bless you. And I remain sure as in Henry Aonaya. And on Sunday, don't forget to worship with us. This Sunday, we're going to have a special guest on our online church, our own brother, Brother Yemi, will be with us. Now, before I leave you guys, listen to the latest of Brother Yemi's song. Sovereign God, whose power is matchless, the King whose reign is endless, the indomitable Lion of the tribe of Judah. Yeah. 